Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the DB Power USB Digital Microscope. This is going to be great for those of you who love to do some experimentation in the house, or it's also pretty good for labs for general school usage in high schools, I would say. Uh, it's a modern day microscope instead of a traditional one, so you can actually capture and record whatever is happening on the device by uh, capturing it using the program installed on your computer. So it connects, again, using a USB to both a Mac or a PC, laptops or desktops, and it works relatively well. Um, it's a basic traditional microscope in a sense that it, it is fastened to your computer. It's not gonna be well, wireless where you can't take it out and about and travel with it um, because it really is stuck to the desk and confined to the desk, but it has a five megapixel sensor. There is three times of magnification, 300 times magnification, and again, it has measurements are accurate up to one out of 1,000 millimeters. So taking a look at the packaging here, it's pretty professional. You can see this is a microscope. You can take, take it out of the included stand to get up closer to your uh, subjects, whatever you're taking a look at. Um, and you can also have it be adjusted on this pole that you can actually adjust up and down. So it's pretty easy to use, relatively interesting, and you have the digital microscope itself, the stand, a calibration chart, instruction manuals, and the software. On the back is some more information about the specifications, including the capture rate and how it's 30 frames per second at VGA quality. Images are up to 8 megapixels, so relatively you know, high resolution. So 8 megapixels is going to be um, a bit more than 5 megapixel advertised rate, but it's also going to lose some of the finer details, I think. But USB 2.0 uses 8 LEDs, which is adjustable and pretty bright, and you have the software, which is available in different languages, and overall, the size of the unit is 110 millimeters. Taking a look at what's included inside the packaging, we have access to the aforementioned software and the quick start guide and the calibration chart in the back there. So that's used to take a look at how the microscope gets into focus. And you can check out the instruction manual for more details. And finally, we have access to the digital microscope with the USB attached to it and basically just the stand itself. And that's on the very bottom here, we have access to the actual base of the microscope, and that's all in the packaging. So again, the base is relatively heavy because it has enough weight so it doesn't really move around on any desk or surface. It's crafted out of plastic, and it's a relatively sturdy piece of plastic as well, so it feels pretty good. And on the bottom here, you have access to some uh, measurements for you to get more accurate in terms of the size of the uh, specimen or whatever you're trying to get a closer measurement for. There are two clips down below here for you to get an accurate clamp on the Petri dish or whatever you're trying to focus your subject on. And up here is where the actual dock for the pole is being inserted. On the bottom here there are four rubber feet which prevents the unit from sliding around or being placed on the desk. Inserted, we can see you have other adjustments that can be made including locking and unlocking to various different parts for moving the actual slider up and down over here and adjusting the angle as well. So you have quite a bit of adjustments you can make. You can also tighten or loosen the top here which fastens the microscope into place. So overall a pretty professional setup. It doesn't take up too much space so you can also fold it down for portability and also for storage. Taking out the microscope itself, it's crafted out of a soft touch material which makes it easy to grip and hold in case you do need to use your hands rather than the stand. On the top here you do have a bit of a protection for the lens of the microscope and also the eight LEDs inside. Focusing is relatively easy, it's just a simple uh, kind of jog dial for you to scroll back and forth between magnification to the left and you can zoom out to the right. And it's actually ra rather sensitive, you can get a pretty accurate focus just by using this mechanism. And you have the cord length itself, which is, I would you know, kind of prefer that the cord length is a little bit longer, but if you have a laptop you want this to be connected to, the setup is uh, pretty easy to do so. But you have a desktop, the cord length could be a little bit limited, you might need an extension cord for that. Um, again, USB 2.0, which is pretty handy. We simply fasten the microscope into place like so, and the other end just goes into your a brief look at how the actual microscope work when, works once it's connected to a computer. You can see the lights will be illuminated, and we have the calibration sensor over here, but you can basically place anything on here and then use the microscope. You can also take it out pretty easily, simply adjust the dial on the side to get your uh, desired image into focus. So it's not too terribly difficult to actually start using it. The program, on the other hand, is also very simple and uh, pretty easy to use. You basically have the device that you're looking at, you have an image which is expanded, you can then 
uh, take an image um, or take a photo, you can do some magnification on the side. Uh, so again, I can simply tap on that to take an image. I can tap on this to record video. And you can see after some delay, you have the actual the image quality screen. itself at around 8 megapixels is pretty strong. And images tend to be pretty good in terms of color saturation. They're fairly accurate and quite impressive and easy to use. The video quality, on the other hand, is a bit more limited just because you have a bit more lag in general. You can see the um, again, the microscope itself it doesn't have that high of frame rates, so although it works, it's not the most impressive results, although images um, are uh, video recorded are still definitely viewable, and you can of course share it with friends, family, and for any lab purposes for schools, it still should work just fine. So again, we have the slide here. You can see it's pretty easy and rather focused. You do have the lights, which can be a bit transflective if you have materials that are really glossy. But if I have something else, perhaps a $1 bill, and I wanted to magnify it and see, you know, maybe just what is inside a $1 bill in terms of the um, designs in there, you can see you can get a pretty good read on that. And it's pretty impressive in terms of the amount of detail you can get. I can really easily adjust it by going zooming in even more zooming out, and you can see how it's rather easy to get a focus onto whatever subject you want to we'd say that the digital microscope kit is actually a pretty well-designed device. It's inexpensive, has a lot of customization, and surprisingly, it actually works pretty well. Although video quality could be better, we think that the image quality is quite impressive, and most importantly, the microscope is really easy to get into focus compared to more traditional microscopes. We'd rate it at 4 out of 5 stars, so you can check out more information on our official written review. Thanks for watching. Your OS Reviews.